G'day guys, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So we've got our patron army choice for this Tuesday. Every week we do a couple of polls over there on Patreon. And this is their choice today. This is what, uh, this is a Southern thing. So today is going to be what Southerners say at the doctor's office. So let's jump in and let's have a look at this, shall we? She's going to tell me to go on a diet. I know it. We're supposed to have fried turkey on Thanksgiving and divinity at Christmas and <laughs> deviled eggs on Easter. What is she trying to do? Kill me? May cause dizziness, heartburn, diarrhea, or nausea. Y'all sure these are side effects? Because they sound like a normal trip to Crystal's. You think it's crowded in here now? What's, what's Crystal's? Somebody let me know. Now, wait until spring allergy season. There's going to be more sniffles in here than a screening of steel magnolias. I always have to remind the nurse to, you know, adjust the weight to account for clothes and shoes. Everyone knows it adds like 30 pounds. 40 <laughs> if you're... <laughs> what kind of shoes are you wearing? I'm wearing boots. I thought I had IBS, but it turns out spastic colon is just another symptom of 2020. You and me cut back on my sugar before or after I leave this office, because you and I both know that there's a big old bowl of candy sitting there by reception. And if I got to go to Walgreens... Come on, that's basically the Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory right now. I know I've got high blood pressure, but you try watching Auburn football four hours a week. <laughs> I might not make it through this season. You know, they say the gut is like your second brain, which is making sense because mine is telling me that I need to go take advantage of Sonic's slushy happy hour later today. Oh, you get that restless <laughs> leg syndrome? Listen, you don't need a prescription for that. Just get your bar of ivory soap, stick it in the bed sheets at night. Works like a charm. I've heard that the soap in the bed for the the restless legs does that actually work i don't know that i don't understand why that would work what properties that would give i don't know but i've heard that i've definitely i don't know where i heard it but i've definitely heard it in this family history section do you think they just want what my mama's officially been diagnosed with or what she thinks she has because uh <laughs> See, that's not just a, that's not just a southern thing. Oh my god! That's everything on this list. <laughs> yeah, I finally decided to make an appointment. My back has been hurting since I played piggyback with my baby niece. She's ten now. I'm still the cool aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I really have to turn my cell phone off in here? Cause I don't even get a signal anywhere around here. Only place in town I can get a signal is up on that hill by the Dollar General. And I gotta stand on one leg and put my hand in the air like the Statue of Liberty. The doctor told me to have a variety of foods so that I have more energy. So now I have coffee and Red Bull in the morning. <laughs> well, there's a prescription for everything these days, but I refuse to take sleeping pills. Like, why would I deal with the side effects of Ambien when I got a pawpaw that loves to tell stories? It's the same one every time. A lot of insurance company commercials at the beginning of the pandemic talked about how we're all in this together. But where were they when I got a $300 bill for one blood test to check my thyroid in 2018? Just a heads up, when you get back there, they're going to ask if you smoke or drink. It's not an offer. It's probably just an ingrown <laughs> hair. I'm just checking to be safe. could just skip this line because uh, I already know what I got. I checked on WebMD and it's polio. Doctor just gave me a list of healthy foods. Mac and cheese isn't on here. You know it's a vegetable. It's on the Cracker Barrel menu. You know, I was feeling really bad this morning, but now that I'm at the doctor's office, I, I kind of feel fine. I, I think I'm a phony. Brought to you by Renaissance Bank. <laughs> Open your account online at renaissancebank.com. Uh. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. These ones are pretty good. We, we've done a, we've done a couple of uh, it's a southern thing. So being at the doctor's office is obviously universal. It is obviously universal. How many times? Uh, my wife does it all the time. And if she sees this, she'd probably kill me. She always check in uh, Google for symptoms. You know, what is it? What have I have? It could be this. It could be that. Uh, all the time. All the time. Um, definitely universal. Definitely universal. I love that bit about um, 
mac and cheese. You all know it's a vegetable, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, I don't think there's any vegetable in it at all. At all. So, uh, but that was very good. That was very good. As I said, that was a Patreon choice. Uh, every week we do a couple of polls there to decide which which um, reaction they're going to do. Um, and this week it was it's a southern thing. So if you want to become part of that, there is a link in the description for Patreon. You can come over there and support myself and the channel a little bit more. Um, and then obviously that allows me to continue to do these great reactions for you guys uh, and continue uh, working at YouTube. So uh, I love it. So let me know if you love that one. That was very funny. Let me know if you know people like that. Let me know. Without no names. I don't want to know any names, but just let me know if you know people who go to the doctor's office like that. So guys, thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you stay safe and healthy, and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?